What up YouTube, Team Movies here. In honor of Black History Month, I decided to go ahead and do my top 10 favorite black movie directors of all time. There's some really great ones I've enjoyed over the years. So with that being said, here's my list. Coming in at number 10, I'm gonna go with uh, Barry Jenkins. Granted, he's only directed two movies, and two movies, those two movies were great. He directed uh, the Oscar winning movie Moonlight, even though I still sort of wish La La Land had won that year instead, but Moonlight was still great and a well-deserved win. And the movie ended up winning uh, Mahershala Ali his first Oscar. Then he directed another good follow-up, which was If Beale Street Could Talk, which was an amazing movie. And it won a Virginia King um, her Oscar. So he's directed uh, actors to their first ever Oscar. And, you know, his next, like... I don't know what his next feature is going to be, but his next directorial effort is episodes of this new Amazon series called uh, The Underground Railroad, which I'm kind of intrigued by. It has a Joe Ergerton and a few other folks. I'm kind of intrigued by that. Anyway, coming in at number nine, I'm going to go with Ernest R. Dickinson. Uh, now, he's probably not that well-known as a director as most of the people on this list, but he's directed some really great stuff. He directed that amazing 1992 Tupac crime film, uh, Juice. He's directed uh, the Adam Sandler and Damon Wayans action comedy, Bulletproof. I love that movie. Uh, he directed uh, Tales of the Crypt, Demon Knight. He's also, he's also directed uh, TV episodes of uh, The Walking Dead, The L Word, uh, Godfather and Apollo. So he's a big TV... He's been more um, active in the TV world more than the movie world lately. I'll let see him uh, come back to direct another film because he's directed some really great features and yeah it's, it's been a while since he's directed a film but uh I really like uh, Ernest R. Dixon alright number set um seven, number eight I'm gonna go with uh, Ava DuVernay yeah she directed uh that movie A Wrinkle of Time which you know I, I like Storm Reed I like uh, Oprah I like Reese Witherspoon and the Kindling and on A Wrinkle of Time was horrible that movie was definitely Ava's Bad Day in the Office. But before that, she's directed some other great stuff like Middle of Nowhere, else, uh, Nowhere, uh, Selma. She directed episodes of, uh, oh, she directed that documentary, The 13th, on uh, Netflix. That was pretty good. She directed episodes of that uh, new show, uh, When They See Us, which was really good. She's directed some pretty good stuff uh, in recent years, but Ringo Time, yeah. Uh, number seven, I'm going to go with Jordan Peele. You know, like Barry Jenkins, he's only directed two films, and that was Get Out and Us, and both movies were amazing. I mean, he he went, he went ventured from the comedy world to directing Trey Up Horror, which that's pretty cool right there. And he's also um, a uh, creator on the uh, new uh, Twilight Zone reboot, which is actually pretty decent. Uh, he's a producer on the upcoming uh, Candyman remake, which I cannot wait to see. So he's directed and produced some some really solid stuff. And I, I really like Jordan Peele. As a uh, performer, as a uh, director, this guy could do no wrong. All right, number six, I'm going to go with F. Gary Gray. Now, he came on the scene with the one of the funniest comedies of the 90s, Friday, with Ice Cube and all. I mean, I really like F. Gary Gray. Uh, he also gave us Straight Outta Compton. Uh, he gave us uh, The Talent Job. A Fate of the Furious. He also gave us Man in Black here in Nashville, but I don't think that was his fault. Uh, he's also directing the upcoming Saints Row uh, adaptation. Um, he's directing uh, the movie uh, Mask, you know, based on the uh, toy line. I really like F. Gary Gray, and shame that uh, Man in Black here in Nashville didn't work out, because I hate to see a bad movie directed by F. Gary Gray, because he's the man. He should, he should come back to do another Friday movie. I mean, I know Ice Cube's trying to get one on the off the ground, but... I'll believe that when I see it, but... Uh. Alright, number five. Alright, coming at number five, I'm going to go with Denzel Washington. Not only is he, you know, one of the uh, best actors in the world, he's directed some really solid stuff. You know, he gave us the movie Antoine Fisher, which is amazing. Uh, he also gave us uh, the amazing, even even amazing movie, The Great Debaters, with uh, Forrest Whitaker. Then... At, Recently, he also gave us Offenses, which won Viola Davis her first ever Oscar and a well-deserved Oscar win. That's one of her best performances. And I'm looking forward to see what Denzel's next directing film is going to be. I think it's but Denzel's just the man. 
and any he directs, I'll just watch. No matter if he's starring or directing, he could do both in a heartbeat. Uh, number four, I'm gonna go with Antoine Fisher. Oh, not Fisher. Antoine Fuga, I meant to say. I had uh, Antoine Fisher in my uh, mind, but uh, Antoine uh, Fuga. He, speaking of Denzel Washington, he's directed Denzel to his Oscar, with, which was a uh, Training Day. He directed Denzel in the uh, Equalizer movies. Uh, he also gave us, uh, you know, the movie Bait with Jamie Foxx. Who remember the Bait? Uh, he did uh, the first Olympus Has Fallen, which was pretty good. He's a really great uh, filmmaker, and he he works with Denzel perfectly. He worked with a lot of other great actors. Uh, uh, he also gave us that movie, uh, the uh, um, the Neko, uh, that uh, the film with uh, Sam Jackson and uh, Kevin Spacey. That was a pretty good one. Uh, he also gave us the King Arthur movie, which wasn't good, but and that's why uh, Fuga is also directing. Uh, you know, the upcoming Mark Wahlberg movie, Infinity Night, and the uh, reboot of Scarface. So we got some other stuff coming out to look forward to. Number three, I'm going to go with Ryan Coogler. Now, Ryan Coogler th- gave us three amazing movies in Fruitvale Station, uh, Creed, and Black Panther. And he knocked it out of the park with all three of them. I, I really like uh, Ryan Coogler. He worked with uh, Michael B. Jordan tons of times. I mean, he is to Michael B. Jordan of what... Uh, Martin Scorsese is to Leo DiCaprio, or uh, Martin Scorsese is to Robert De Niro, or uh, Tim Byrne is to uh, Johnny Depp. He works well with uh, Michael B. Jordan, and and he's also directing uh, Jordan in a film called uh, Wrong Answers, and he's also uh, set to direct uh, set to return for uh, Black Panther too. I mean, yeah, Mike B. Jordan is. Uh, Ryan Coogler is the man. I cannot wait to see what else he'll do. Like, outside Black Panther, um, I'm look first to see what his next project is going to be. I know he's a producer on Space Jam 2, though, so keep your eye out for that one next year. Anyway, number two, I'm going to go with the late, great John Singleton. This man gave us Boys in the Hood, Baby Boy, uh, you know, Four Brothers he gave us. Uh, he ended up scoring an Oscar nomination for Best Director. Uh, Boys in the Hood is just... Remarkable. Who does not love Boys in the Hood? You know, with uh, Ice Cube, Cuba Gooding Jr., uh, Lawrence Fishburne, Neil Long. Boys in the Hood is the best. Then he also was, he also gave us Poetic Justice, which was amazing. Remember the Tupac and Janet Jackson movie? Uh, he directed episodes of the recent uh, show uh, Snowfall. He directed an episode of uh, of Empire. I remember. Uh, this guy is the best. I just love John Singleton. And I was really... I was heartbreaking when I heard that uh, he passed away last year. I just really adore this guy. And R.I.P. man, John Singleton is, will, is and will always be a mess. Alright, my number one pick is obviously going to Spike Lee. I mean, lots of filmmakers today will tell you that they're, that Spike Lee was their... Uh, influ- like, they were influenced by Spike Lee... Um, of course, he gave us a Do the Right Thing, Malcolm X, uh, Summer Sam. I love Summer Sam. Uh, he recently gave us uh, Black Klansman. You know, Spike Lee directed, like, have worked with some of the best. You know, he worked with uh, Sam Jackson, Denzel Washington. He worked with some of the greatest actors there is. And Spike Lee is just the king. Um, yeah, I mean, if, if it wasn't for Spike Lee, we probably wouldn't have uh, directors like, I mean... We probably wouldn't even have John Singleton. We probably wouldn't even have uh, Ryan Coogler or any of the uh, people on. We probably wouldn't even have most of the names on this list. So, yeah, Spike Lee, he's the man. And his next film is his new Netflix film called uh, The Five Blood. And he's also directing some film called uh, Print of Cats. Uh, so anything Spike Lee does, I'll I'll be watching in a heartbeat. Because he's not only one of the best black directors, he's also one of the best directors there is. I just adore this guy. And I'm, I'm always looking forward for the next Spike Lee joint, so... Anyway, that's pretty much it. Uh, let me do the quick one now. Uh, Ten, Barry Jenkins. Nine, Ernest R. Dickinson. Uh, seven, Ava DuVernay. I mean, eight, uh, Ava DuVernay. Seven, Jordan Peele. Six, F. Gary Gray. Five, Denzel Washington. Four, Antoine Fuqua. Three, Ryan Coogler. Two, uh, John Singleton. And one is Spike Lee. Now, there's a few other ones I probably could have added. Uh... Tyler Perry, Steve McQueen, uh, Mario Van Pebbles, uh, Malcolm D. Lee, who gave us Girls Trip, is a good one. 
Uh, some really solid ones in this list. But let me leave it to you guys. Who are some of your favorite uh, black filmmakers of all time? Drop a comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for more notifications. This here is Simu signing off.